Hello students, here we are going to learn about OTDM means optical time division multiplexing. So at the input to the network, lower speed stream are multiplexed optically into higher speed stream and the output of the network at the lower speed stream must be extracted from the higher speed strip optically by means of the demultiplexing function. So OTDM means optical TDM is identical to the electronic TDM. So the only difference is that the multiplexing and the demultiplexing operation are performed entirely optically for the higher speed. So that's why the typical aggregate rate in the OTDM system is order of 100 GBPS. Optical signal represented data stream from multiple sources are interleaved in time to produce a single data stream, produced for the single data stream. So the interleave can be done on bit by bit basis. So that normally the data is sent from packet and it can be also done from packet also. So in case of bit also bit by bit basis. So TDM is done by passing a multiple optical signal into the single data stream. So it is always done in by bit by bit or packet by packet. So basis on the bit by bit one bit interleaved case if n input data stream are multiplex framing pulse are used every n bit in case of the packet by packet the packet interleaved case framing pulse helps in marking the boundary between the packets so the framing pulse will turn out or to be very useful for demultiplexing individual packet from a multiplex stream of packets or very short pulses or very much shorter than the bit interleaved of each multiplex stream must be used in OTDM system. So a periodic train of such short pulses can be generated using a mocked locked laser. Mod locked laser. So some of the features of OTDM so first is simple access to high aggregate line rate provide the higher line rate tributary data rates at any desired degree of granularity and compatible with existing technology such as sonnet or sdh greatly simplified amplifier and dispersion management due to the single wavelet transmission case so it will be simply manified and the dispersion management is also provided by the OTD. Network node that require electronic operating at the locally data rate for only. So that are the some of the features of OTDM. So the key component for OTDM. So the first is transmission. So the ultra short optical pulse generation is used for the transmission format and the various kind of modulated format is used OOK, DPQ, DQPSK, DPSK, MRA and the QM quadrature amplitude modulation. Second transmission channel. So dispersion managed fiber for ultra short pulse generation channel will be utilized in the OTDM system. And third one is a receiver. So optical clock extractions and OTDM demultiplexing use. So these are the three main component used in the OTDM system. Let's check some out the advantage of OTDM. The first is flexible, provide a flexible bandwidth. Overcome for the nonlinear effect associated with the wavelength division multiplexing. The total capacity of single channel OTDM network is equal to DWDM dance wavelength division multiplexing. So it provides very good, very high capacity. Less complex end node equipment. So it is better to for the receiver side. 
so can operate at the both the means both kind of range 1500 nanometer like wdm due to the edfa amplifier and 1300 nanometer also so I operate for the both kind of 1500 nanometer and 1300 nanometer and offer for the broadcast and the switch based network so both kind of network will be working uh, in the otdm means otdm is useful for the broadcast network also and the switch based network also